Deborah always spoke of her father like he was God. She used to say I was such a sweet, loving person, just like her father was. I don't want to be compared to someone like that that can do such heinous crimes. When she got the news about her father, she was just an emotional wreck. Deborah has not been the same since she found out. It's not your fault. You shouldn't take on that responsibility or that heartache. I'm sorry for what my father did because he's not. Deborah tried to speak with her mother about the situation, but her mom refused to talk about it. I believe that Deborah's mother had more knowledge of Robert's crimes than she let on. I honestly don't know how to talk to her about the situation. I'm just a simple country boy. If she was a house that I could fix with my hands, I could fix her, but I can't fix someone's brain. She needs closure, and that's something that I can't help her find. Ronald, good to meet you. Same to you, Dr. Uh, Phil. I, I think you're helping a lot, actually. Um, I, I see you sit down and take her hand, and I, I, I hear patience and compassion in your voice. But I, I think you're helping immensely, so God bless you for being who you are and, and doing what you're doing. And you, you understand this is tough for these these absolutely. two to hear, right? Yes, sir, absolutely. Um, and April, you said this would have been your undoing. You, you kind of had to ease into this, mm -hmm. and you're still adjusting to it, Definitely. right? Definitely, yes. She finds and, out something new every day. I tell her, like, she, I tell her new things, and she's every day, and it just. And I was a part of this, this whole thing. I was a part of it, and a lot I don't remember. And, and that's okay. That's, pro that's the best thing for you, I promise you it is. You know, it's, you remember what, what you need to, and I don't think it's necessarily productive to go back through every jot and tittle of all of this. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing I want the two of you, uh, you know, Ronald said it well, you know, he, he can't fix your, your brain, and you've got to do what works for you and you've reached out to the families of some of these victims yes. some of them have responded some not right yes and they responded and said it's not my place to put myself in the position to be saying sorry i shouldn't be sorry for my father's crimes i know that you two certainly didn't have you, you see how much trouble you have wrapping your head around it now can you imagine if we were uh, that age having to yeah. go through. You have a child. He's the what same do you age think his capacity would be to comprehend all of this if it was happening around him right now? Zero. He wouldn't know what to do. There's no way he could uh, he could comprehend all of this and and think about a double life and rapes and murders and stuff like that. And look, DNA is not destiny. It's just a, a, a chromosomal component. It has nothing to do with who you are, and you need to accept that. Your legacy is y'all's family. What you've created, you found a good man, you have a wonderful child. You, yes. It's what your family becomes, not what you came from. Right. You have the chance to set that up. Your life is what you make it now not what you were subjected to in the past. And that's what you guys need to focus on. That's history. Breaking the generational curses. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.